Funding for Painting Journeys is provided by Veritas. Financial knowledge is power. Be empowered. God's beauty is all around us, and my goal as an artist is to capture and interpret that beauty on canvas and to take you, the viewer, along with me on this painting journey. Hello, and welcome to Painting Journeys. My name is Kitty Lynn Klish, and we're here today. Um, we're really glad you joined us, and we're going to be painting a poinsettia. But before we go into that, I'd like to talk a little bit about our last episode on painting journeys. This um, beautiful cardinal, and if you had the chance to watch the show, of which I hope you did, um, I, I told you about the Christmas story that uh, related to this cardinal. Well, here he is, and the painting is completed now and framed, as you can see. I've added a little detail to the branches and added a little more snow and uh, just reshaped him just a little bit because I felt he was a little oversized uh, when I ended the last segment. So here he is, and I believe that the Christmas Cardinal, I'm going to make that my official 2015 Christmas painting. I've been doing Christmas paintings every year since 1993. I was thinking about that today. That's a long time, yeah. And I, in, I love them. I enjoy doing them so much. And I'm, like I said, I'm really glad you're with us today. I am going to just do a, a poinsettia study today. Um, I went and I, at our local floor shop, I uh, purchased this beautiful poinsettia yesterday. And I've never seen one with petals quite like this, where they're sort of mottled, lighter in the center and then darker around the edges. And then this lovely red and green petal here is really beautiful. So I don't want to take too much time here. I want to get right into this because I'm going to challenge myself today to try to uh, start and finish this program, uh, this painting in the time that we have. So without further ado, I best get busy. Now I'm not going to do the whole, the whole vase and flowers. I'm just going to um, pick out uh, a little bit of what, what I want from it. I'm going to be selective, and I am going to have this dark leaf coming right in here. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of outline what I see in the colors that I see it in um, over here, here, okay, over here. I love these leaves. They're so um, dramatic the way they're the way they're shaped, and the flower is so interesting because it just it just seems to, you know, one 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 day it'll be all green and and then the brackets start turning uh, red and it's just really beautiful. Yesterday, when I was at the florist shop, I found out that they have started um, painting flowers. They have a flower paint that they can actually paint flowers with. And so I saw poinsettias yesterday that were turquoise blue and purple, really dark purple, and um, yellow. There was one yellow. Uh, kind of an orangey one that looked like it was for fall or something. So what they're doing nowadays, I guess, I had, I, I had no idea about this. What they're doing nowadays is they're actually, see how I'm looking at my, my subject and I'm judging how far up do I want to go before I put another leaf. So I look at my canvas and I look at my subject, and then I decide where that placement is going to be. That's very important when you're painting. 
You want to try to get the distances in between, you know, as much as you can. There's always room for a little air, of course. Anyway, I had no idea that they actually have poinsettias that have all these odd shapes nowadays, and or odd colors, rather, excuse me. I uh, wasn't really uh, too impressed with them. They looked a little too artificial to me. I think right here we're going to have um, this one, and it's going to be outlined in green, and it's turning. It's in the process of turning, so it's going to be outlined in green, and then it's going to have red in the center, and it's a pretty good sized leaf, or bracket, whatever you want to call it. You know, I'm not too good on the names of things. I never have been. It just doesn't seem to matter to me what it is. Just let me paint it. Now this one's got another shape that goes this way, and then it's coming back like this. And we'll have to probably um, go in and alter those a little bit. Now I'm going to take my my um, another brush, and I'm going to start with um, outlining some of the red uh, poinsettias that I see here. Now there's, I want the edges to be a little bit on the darker side. So right over in here, on top of this, is a leaf or a petal. And it's coming right here and going like this, and then it's coming up here. Now it's going to be it's going to be quite a bit darker. Okay, um, we have another big petal that is here. And that's coming around. On top of that, we have another petal coming. And so you see the red is going to be on top of the green a little bit. And then there's a few that are going underneath this because the flower, this is the center of the flower right here. And so we have some petals that are going underneath this green one that's going to be on top. We have a little bit of a side view um, coming here that is kind of pretty. That will bring up here. And then let me see here. Right under here we have a a petal, and that's a nice big one. And then on top of that is a smaller one, and that is going like this. coming down, and then here on the very top, this is our center of the poinsettia. Right in here is where the center, the top center is going to be. So now these petals that I'm putting in now are going to need to be foreshortened a bit. So that means that we don't see as much of them. And then it has another big one coming out from here. Okay, and we have a couple that are 
Now they're coming up here. All right. And this is pretty much just a mass of petals over in here. And I'm not going to give that, I don't want to give that too much detail. This right here is going to be my focal area. And I want that to, to really pop out at us. Um, we'll have a little bit of an opening and then we'll have some petals that are coming like so and going off. And here's a nice big one coming up here. And he actually has, we're seeing a side view of him. So this is what we're seeing. <laughs> Let's see here. And we have green one there and right underneath that green one is one that is just turning and then I'll probably fill a lot of this in with with um, with paint and usually I start the painting by going to the background first and this yeah this is in front of that green leaf he's behind um, I, I start with a background first, but today I don't think so. Today I think I'm just going to concentrate on the poinsettias and try to get those the way I, I want them to look for you. And um, poinsettias and the leaves. And I think I'll just leave the background go. If we don't get to it, Nothing to it. We'll just do it some other time. I've already done my official Christmas painting for this year with my cardinal, the Christmas cardinal, so I don't really have to worry about this. This is just more of a fun type of day today where we're just kind of messing around. Okay? Yeah. Once again, this is Kitty Lynn Klisch, and you're watching Painting Journeys. And I'm hoping that you're enjoying what I'm doing. All right, I think we need a little green up here. I'm going to balance it a little bit. Now, this is where I take off and go on my own. Sometimes that gets me in trouble, sometimes not. <laughs> it all depends. <laughs> and I have my, my usual... Um, palette um, that I usually use and I'm not going to take the time to show that to you because I think you already probably have a good idea if you've seen this show before. Alrighty, let's see here. We have, do I want this to go off? This is going off up here. I, I think I do. I think I want to ground this by putting another dark green um, petal coming right down there. Okay, so now it's grounded at the top, grounded at the bottom. We'll probably have to take it out with a nice long um, leaf that is behind this one here. And we're just going to see just a part of it. And take that there. Okay, now, and then yeah, I'm kind of liking that. It's grounded here, 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 and then it kind of flows over here. Okay, and then we'll add, we may add a little bit to it. So now, let's get to it. Let's start painting. Now we've got it on the canvas, and we're going to start painting. I'm going to do the, the green first, and that green is a very dark, almost blue-green. So I'm thinking I'm going to take my, my sap green, put just a little bit of the ultramarine blue in there to darken it up. I want this to be quite dark. And then I'll come across 
the top of it and add a little bit of light where I want it and a little tinge of red here and there to show. That's not a good brush here. This is better. Okay. So now this one is in the light. I'm not going to make it so dark. But this one here, starting over here, he is in the dark. So we're just going to fire him in. Maybe even a little darker where he goes underneath here. Because mm -hmm. he's in the shadow. This guy down here is in, in the shadow too. Kind of building, kind of coming from the underneath outward. There we go. Can you hear my brush scratching? I love that sound. It's like somebody scratching my back. I love it. Love to have my back scratched too. <laughs> there we go. Now, okay, this one is underneath this one. So that's gonna be a little darker there. I'm gonna have just a little space there. This is underneath this, so that's going to be a little darker. And let's see, this is under here, under the flower, so where it's coming out, because the flower is going to create a shadow, so where it's coming out, it's going to be a little darker. This is going to be a little darker up in here. I'm just kind of dancing around here, finding my way. Okay, now then, this one is on top of this one, so that should be dark too. This little guy right in here. Now we're going to mix up a lighter green. And we're going to come back over and uh, we'll have um, the flowers I see that as being a rather cool red. And so I'm going to, the leaves are quite gray. So I'm going to, I think, warm the leaves up a little bit with a warmer grayed green and have it be a little on the warmer side because I see the flowers as being very cool. All, fla all um, paintings, um, objects when you paint them they have a a color temperature some some objects are very warm looking and so you'll want to give them a cool shadow or, or a cool complement okay now I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to come and lighten that up just a bit and I have a nice grayed green. And how did I gray my green? I added just a tiny little bit of red, the colors complement, and that grays it. And this little guy here, he can be a little lighter in the, on the ends. This guy up here, he can be quite light and he can be very warm because he is in the, in the light, in the bright light. So we're just gonna Fix him up there. There he is. Mm, this one is quite light. This one is right here. Mm, 
maybe we'll make him a little darker here on the tip so that it looks like it's turning just a bit. I'm really glad you're with me today. This is so much fun. I don't think there is anything I'd rather do than paint. Maybe eat. I like to eat too. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. Too much information, Kitty. There we go. So he's a little darker on the bottom side there. This has got to come out a little bit. And then he's going to be just a little darker here in the middle. So he kind of looks like he's just a wee bit folded. And then on the outside, I think I'm going to put just a tad of blue in there to kind of make him pop a little bit here. Mm-hmm, I like that. Okay, that makes him look like he's turning. And we'll do the same thing down here with this little guy. Make him come out of the shadow here. And you notice how a little bit of the red is mixing in? That's perfectly all right because the leaves do have, some of them do have red in them. All righty. Now there's another one there. He's on top. Now remember, if I seem like I'm hurrying, it's because I'm attempting to do something that I'm not able to do very often on the show, and that is complete a painting in an hour. I have less than an hour to complete this painting, and I want to try really hard to do that. So... If I'm not talking some of the time or if I seem lost in thought or whatever, you have to forgive me because I'm concentrating very, very hard on what I'm doing here. I'm trying to accomplish a goal that I have set for myself today. And then if I can do it, if I get it done, then we can all celebrate. Doesn't that sound like fun? Okay, this one's on top, so we'll make it just a little bit lighter. You see how important it is to have the different colors in the leaves? Because without the different colors, values, and temperatures in them, they wouldn't show up as they are now. There we go. And I think what we're going to do here on this one here, make him show up a little better, is just add some red down the center of him. There we go. How do you like that, buddy? That fixes you up. All right. Okay, well, I'm still working on those leaves. Oh, I want to get to the flowers. To heck with these leaves. I want the flowers. They're the beautiful things. Yep. And this is just kind of a scumbling that I do. I found quite um, effective. Um, instead of like, you know, laying paint on and going over it and over it and over it, I find for me it works best if I just kind of scribble with my paintbrush. Just kind of scribble it in and Add a little detail here, a little detail there, and there we go. 
And that's got to be dark there because that's underneath that flower. Okay, I can't forget my original mission here. Okay. And then we want that edge to be quite light on the other side so that it pops forward. So we'll just come in here with some nice light and pull that in. And then we'll just feel like, ooh, look at me. I'm pretty. Yeah. Okay. We have another petal, uh, another leaf here. Okay. It's going to be dark up in there. And dark here. Alrighty. Dark in there. And it's going behind this flower right here. So, hmm, let's see. I think we'll make that one side of him a little bit lighter, like that's catching the light right in here. And then we'll darken this right here, where it's behind. OK. Um, that tells me it needs to have a little more dark in here. I think it needs to go up underneath there a little bit, bit more. And then come down. Yeah, there we go. Do we see any more leaves? Let me see here. Not right now. I think I'm going to start with the um, with my flowers, flower brackets. Okay. Did I bring my favorite brush? Let me see. Hmm. All right. Well, this is a good one to start with. Okay. There again, the petals underneath are quite dark. So this right in here is going to be quite dark because it's in shadow. Let me see. This is a petal. Oh, this is the petal right here. Whoop. Can't read my own writing here. <laughs> okay. That's going to be dark right there. And this has got to be dark up here. Now, this little guy here, that's the underside of him. So that's going to be quite dark. And... Um, let's see, this is going to be dark in here, and that's going to be dark. I keep saying that over and over again, I'm sorry, I just keep repeating myself here, but that's because I'm thinking out loud, and, uh, and I just got the sign from the cameraman that I only have 30 minutes. Can you believe it? We're already halfway into the show, and I don't think I have my canvas half covered, so I had better kick it into gear right now. Yep, right now. Okay. But I think it's going to come together quite nicely. Uh, just bear with me. We're going to... This is dark here because that's a turning of a petal, and this is dark up here. Okay. Now I'm going to put a little bit of light on uh, the petals 
so that you can see what's going to happen. Okay. Oh, I made I made my big one that I wanted to have red and green. I made him all green. No wonder he doesn't look right to me. Okay, so that that's not a problem. We'll just wipe down some of these and leave space for green, for the green um, uh, ribs or whatever you call them. Someday I'm going to get a <laughs> an email and somebody's going to say, I've watched all your shows and I know all the names of the things that you don't know. And so here they are. So please stop calling things things and say the proper name of them. And I will say thank you very much. You're a kind, kind person. But it doesn't mean diddly squat to me. Because I'm not painting objects. I'm painting shapes and colors and values and temperatures and all that other good stuff. Okay. That's a little pinker pink. Let's see, we should be going a little cooler with that. Let me add a little blue in that. Yeah, that's better. Mm hmm If we have time, we'll come back over this guy and fix him up a little bit better. Well, we have to have time because the painting's going to be finished. I want to sign it right here on camera in front of you because I pledge once I've signed something, I don't go back and mess with it. If it's got my signature on it, that means I'm done with it. So we don't want this to be a mess. We want it to be a masterpiece. So we gotta get busy here. Make sure that that looks right. Now we'll take our little green pen or, or brush rather and go back in there and we'll have whoops we'll have a little green on the end right there and we'll just kind of There he is. It's good enough for now. I pick up this brush. That was a pretty awkward move, but I'm sure. Hope you were looking away right then. All right. We need to make a little make this a little bit lighter and a little bit brighter. I wore my scarf today. My scarf was a gift from a dear friend who went to Paris, France, before, before they had the um, terrorist attack over there. And uh, she brought me back this scarf. And I'm so proud of it. I just love it. And so I'm wearing it today. Not as a statement, just because I love it. I don't make statements. All righty, let's see here. Okay. Now then. Mm -hmm. OK, 
Okay. Now this be a little darker so that it can be seen in front of the other one. And then we'll come in with a pink and some orange and Now, inside those petals is a little bit of a light, sort of a pinkish color that's really pretty. And I'm just going to put just a touch of it in here to kind of show up. It's just a little hint of, of that color. All right. And um, let's see, this one here. Okay, he is coming up here, and then he's coming down. And take a little bit of the dark, and there. And then we'll take some of the light and put inside of him. There he is. And then this one is coming on top, so it's going to be a little bit lighter. deeper red around the edges. And I, I need to lighten up that tip a little bit so that that shows up. Us there. Maybe come in with a little bit of the darker right behind here. There we go. All right. Now then we have a a nice light one that's in the uh, light and it is right here and we're going to put it up on top of this one and bring it over and that's the we put the dark underneath there so that it goes down beneath the other petal that's going to be right there we have the dark here. This reinforces dark a little bit. Okay. And we'll put um, this one here. We're going to make quite light, I think, in the center here. There we go. Oh, that's a lovely color, isn't it? I like that. And then come back over here, and this one is coming up. Now, the that problem is, is that where something is behind, it's got to be dark in order for it to show that it's going behind what is on top of it. So you either have to go quite a bit darker, 
or you have to go quite a bit lighter, either way, because it has to be light against dark and dark against light. Okay. All right, now this, yeah, I like, I like what this guy's doing, kind of turning away. He says, let me out of here. There. And we'll have a nice dark vein on him and a little darker red coming down. And then maybe we'll take some of the light and put out here on the tip of him. There we go. There, that's kind of pretty. All righty. And we've got this one here. Um, okay, here's another kind of a pink one coming right here. And in the back here, we're going to have some dark. That's, that's a flower that is behind this one. And this part of it is behind this one, too. Um, let's see, this is coming this way. And as I told you, I'm not talking a lot right now because I'm really concentrating. I wish, I wish that I could be talking to you and telling you a story. I love to tell stories. But I think this is turning out to be sort of a, sort of a teaching demonstration to kind of, um, if you're interested in the painting process, what goes on in the minds of an artist when they're creating, then this, this kind of gives you an idea what we're thinking about as we're, as we're painting, of which is, I think that's good, a good thing for you to know. Dark in here. Okay, real dark in here. Okay, because he's going up there. Okay. And he's dark right there. And then we're going to put another nice little lighter one on top of that to kind of there we go. And then this I think this is going to have to be kind of a pinkish color too coming down this way. Well, I just got the word that I have 15 minutes left. We gonna make it, kids? I don't know. I'll be pretty disappointed if we don't. I really don't want to mess it up by hurrying too fast. Let's see, let's put some pink inside of this one. I just love the way this has these little pink 
um, tinges inside of it. Okay, now then. Well, the red is really, the red and green are really showing up nicely on the, um, on the white background. That might have been a good thing to have left that background. Okay, and then we just need a little dark to go down the, the center. And a little dark to come up here. There we go. We'll make a little more of a point on him there and put a little bit more red in there. Get some nice bright pink with a little orange in it. And do a little light captured um, bit there on his little edge. There, that looks good. All right. Keep moving here. We don't dare stop. And that's got to be dark right there, because that's going behind. I believe it's going behind. Yeah. There we go. And then there's one petal in here. And we're going to make that quite dark in there. Okay, I had hoped to have the, enough of this done that I could do a little bit of the background for you, but I don't know if I'm going to. But I think that you'll agree it looks quite pretty with the white. And I think if I were to, you know, to put a background on it, I think what I would want to do is, is make it um, um, a lighter color. You know, you typically I, I like to go very dark and dramatic with my work. But there's something about this one here, and I'm changing the, the shape of that because I want that to come back in so that we have the sensation that we're coming out and around and coming back in. Um, but anyway, I typically want to go dark and dramatic, but with this particular piece, I really don't want to. I want this to be light and fun, and, and um, so I'm going to keep the background very light. And we'll have to put some of that pink in there to kind of tell its little story. We'll put some red in here, a little more red. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, I see. There's one right underneath here that I missed. 
You know, I'm going to keep him pretty dark. And you see how, how nicely the light shows up against the dark? And now as we come down for the edge, then we make it lighter. And then you, you get the feeling of three dimension, that one thing is on top of another. Um, I'm going to take my little green brush here, and I'm just going to just soften this up a little bit. It looks a little too, um, I don't know, too perfect. Just kind of make it, touch it up a little bit here and make it look a little softer. And... I think um, right in the center, we need a little bit of, of green right in here. And then we need some yellow for our little whatever they are. Uh, it's a little bold, so we'll knock it down some. Don't need to kill it. There we go. There. Okay. This one here looks like it's just hanging. Um, the brand, the, the, yeah, okay. The stem is red. So we're going to make this one here a little bit redder and bigger so that he can be coming out of the pile here because otherwise they look like they're um, hanging in no man's land all by themselves. Okay, now I'm just going to take and put just another little leaf right in here. Make him just a little bit brighter. So that he shows up just a little bit more. All right. Make him just a little brighter. Want him to show up just a little bit more. Okay. Now then, I think we'll just kind of mix up some goop and... Go for it. We only have like maybe five minutes left. And let's see what we can do here. Okay. The, now, this is where the trick comes in. Am I going to ruin this? All this hard work for the last hour, am I going to ruin it? Or am I going to enhance it? We'll have to see. A little too much green. I'm going to gray that down. Get some of that green in there. Now we're trying to do this in five minutes. While I'm doing this, I want to tell you something. Do you like do you like this program? Do you like watching this program, uh, Painting Journeys? Because if you do, it's pretty important that in order for the station, our station here, to keep bringing you quality paint, uh, painting shows or any other type of show, it's pretty important to support them. And if you could support our station with, you know, a monetary donation, 
that would be much appreciated. It would help us keep our programming going. Um, and if you want to know where to send it to, I'll tell you right now. Um, let me move this. Just send it, or just go online to Sheboygan, W-O-S-C-S, -S, Sheboygan.com, and click on Donate. How simple is that? Just click on Donate and help us keep bringing you good programming uh, that hopefully you truly enjoy. Um, okay, now it's starting to look kind of messy because I'm hurrying, but you know, in a way I kind of like that because it's soft and pretty that way. And it's not so um, stark. And I think that this mixture of the two colors that I have on there um, as the background, I think that's very pretty. Um, it doesn't make anything really look so garish. Um, okay. and, the, and the reds and the greens are going to bleed. Um, but that's just that's just the nature that's just the nature of the of the beast. We'll put a little bit of a warm color over in here and up in there. Okay, in there. There we go. That red is bleeding. But I don't like that word bleeding. That doesn't sound nice. But that's kind of what it's doing, huh? So call a spade a spade. Anyway, um, let me see if I can get a little bit of this down here, get in there, and see how you can just kind of come right on over it. And, and um, as we go off the air, because I've only got a couple minutes here, I'm going to keep working on this. And because I'm going to try to get this done, because I said I would, and I'm, by golly, I've only got a couple minutes here. And I am working hard and fast here, here, okay? And I want you to remember that, if you can, my name is Kitty Lynn Klish. You've been watching, or you are watching, Painting Journeys. And we're painting a Christmas scene today of poinsettias. And we've been having a blast. I hope you have, too. And... Like I said, go to our station's website, wscssheboygan.com, and check out other prog programming we have. And if you feel like it, drop a coin in the box, and we would sure appreciate it. Am I going to make it? I <laughs> well, it's looking messier and messier. But I am going to sign it anyway and call it a day. All right, here we go. Once again, this is Kitty Lynn Klish. You've been watching Painting Journeys. I hope that you have enjoyed this show as much as I have enjoyed bringing it to you. Thank you so much for joining in today. We'll see you next time. Maybe we'll go to the Mississippi River next time. Come journey along with us. Thank you and bye-bye for now. Funding for Painting Journeys is provided by Veritas. Financial knowledge is power. Be empowered.